This tutorial explains how to extract unique elements from a data object using the unique function in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this tutorial, I will show you two examples. And in the first example, I will extract unique elements from a vector object. So in the first step of this example, we have to create an exemplifying vector object, as you can see in line two of the code. So if you run this line of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new vector object is appearing, which is called a vec. And we can print this vector object to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line three of the code. And then you can see at the bottom that we have created a vector object. However, you can also see that some of the elements in this vector are duplicated. So let's assume that we want to extract only unique elements from this vector object. Then we can apply the code that you can see in line five. So in this line of code, I'm applying the unique function to our vector object. And then I'm storing the output of this in a new data object, which is called vec unique. So if you run line five of the code, you can see at the top right of our studio that a new vector object is appearing, which is called vec unique. And we can print this new vector object to the RStudio console by running line six of the code. And then you can see that we have created a new vector object, which contains the same values as our input vector object. However, each value is appearing only once. So for instance, the second three and the second and third one values have been removed from our updated vector object. So in this first example, I have explained how to extract unique values from a vector object. However, it's also possible to extract unique rows from a data frame object. And this is what I want to show you in the next example, starting in line eight of the code. So if you run lines eight and nine of the code, a new data frame object is appearing at the top right, which is called data. And if you click on this data frame object, a new window is opened, which is showing the structure of our data frame. And as you can see, our data frame contains seven rows and two columns, which are called X1 and X2. And as you can see, some of the rows in this data frame are duplicates. So for instance, the values in the first row and in the second row are the same. So let's assume that we want to remove these duplicates from our data frame. Then we can apply the unique function, as you can see in line 11 of the code. And within the unique function, we only need to specify the name of our data frame. So in this case, our data frame is called data. And then we need to store the output of this in a new data object, which we call data unique. So if you run line 11 of the code, you can see that another data frame object is appearing at the top right, which is called data unique. And if you click on this data frame object, a new window is opened which is showing our updated data frame. And as you can see, we have removed all the duplicate rows from our data set. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.